Now, a good way to get this lab coat to follow the shirt is to basically bind it to the same joints and then copy the skin weights from the shirt to the lab coat. And that is usually the best way just because it's going to be a little easier on the CP on the uh, central processor of your computer. Uh, so it's going to be much lighter and much easier for the animator to deal with later on. Uh, but another way if you uh, need to do it, you can actually use a wrap deformer. Um, usually I'll use wrap deformers for something simple, nothing too complex. Uh, just because the more wrap deformers you add, the more processing is required to uh, essentially make things deform. And that's what you kind of want to try to keep to a minimum. You want to keep active processes limited. But if you want to do it, all you have to do is select the lab coat, shift select the geometry that you want it to basically respond to when it deforms, and then go to under your animation menus, go to create deformers, wrap, and you can use the default settings for the wrap deformer, and that's usually fine, and just tell it to create. Um, and then you'll get your little wrap deformer within the history for the lab coat. And one thing you may want to tweak a little bit is the max, max distance. And so you can actually bring that up. Usually you don't want to go down. If you go down, it sort of decreases the uh, uh, how much of the lab coat is being influenced. But essentially, simply applying it, when you actually rotate now, you'll see if the lab coat responds to the deformation of the character's spine. Okay? Fairly, pretty simple. And there's no intersection because it's actually following the deformation of the surface. Now, just like if you're going to copy skin weights, of course, the, the, the topology of the mesh is important. You want to make sure that your outer coat or your outer clothing and the underclothing have similar topologies. That way, when there is deformation, they can actually deform relative to the same or similar uh, vertices and edges. So you can actually prevent or minimize the amount of intersection that occurs within the geometry.